and we'll let that drain. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Matt with Rural Iowa. Had some footage that got deleted, so I need to do an intro. This is a Cub Cadet LT1024 hydrostatic drive. I picked it up from my friend. Let's see if there's an actual year on this. No, it's an LT1024, that's all I got. You can see here, LT1024. There's all the part numbers if you need them. I'll probably put them down in the description below. This is gonna be a Briggs and Stratton. Uh, 24 horsepower ELS 725. It's got a 50 inch mower deck on it. Video you're gonna see is me changing the oil on this, so go ahead and sit back. Uh, if there's any part numbers or anything you need, hopefully I can solve that for you if you don't know where they're at. And uh, enjoy. That's just all sorts of junk that went from the gas tank got sucked into the filter. That's why you have fuel filters. But I'll get this thrown away and we'll see what's going on with our oil here. So I guess pretty well all drained out. We'll wipe this up, get the plug back on, then we'll change the filter. Alright, so we're on to the oil filter, so let's see if we can not cause problems here. And we'll let that drain. All right, it's been a minute, but finally got the right filter. Been a day, so we're going to clean this up, put some oil on the filter, screw it on, and then uh, start filling the oil. Should be good and drained now because it's sat open for a day. Two hundred and sixty eight hours changing it on six twenty six twenty two. Now we've moved into the fun part where we actually put oil in. So this says that it takes what did I say sixty four ounces of oil. So this has 48 ounces, so I should be able to put that whole thing in there without any worry. So there's 48 ounces. We'll check our oil level just to be sure. Yeah, it's not even touching the dipstick yet. It's even that much. Just hit the add mark. finally hit it. We're gonna go ahead and crank this thing up, make sure everything runs right. Contact. <laughs> she runs good. Let's check our oil level again and make sure that's didn't go down 
probably went down a little bit and check my air filter and make sure that looks good and call her quits on the maintenance for this for now. I could add a little bit of oil. Perfect. Really should try and clean this off before I started doing maintenance to it, but you know. All seemed like a great idea after the time. I can still see light through the filter, so we're going to call that okay. Probably end up replacing the next year. But yet again, I don't use it that much. <laughs> I know I'm probably going to need to replace my battery because it says June of 2017 on here, so I can't believe it's lasted this long. But, um, no. Fuel filter looks good. I did see some junk kind of float through it, but I got a new filter on it, so it's it's running good. We're good to go on this thing. We got the oil changed, and I greased everything up earlier this year, but always make sure and grease your spindles on your mower deck. This has the tool-free deck removal, which is really nice. Move some stuff around so we can get the tractor in here, and that'll be the next video. And this isn't just five seconds later where I go ahead and do a uh, outro because I lost that footage too. But So we go ahead, we got this all uh, changed up. Hopefully it was an informative video. I know that uh, you don't see very many oil change videos out for mowers and stuff. But hopefully if this model is something that you have, uh, it's helpful for you. And uh, if you see in the background, the boat is coming out real soon. I got a couple of projects to wrap up here, but then uh, it will be coming out and we will be getting it ready for our excursion this fall. So go ahead and stay tuned for that. Take care and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.